In this video, we're gonna cover some of the basic aggregate functions in SQL, in particular, sum, average, count, max, and min. All right, so let's get into it. Now I am using the Northwind database, and if you don't have this database and you want it, link in the description down below on how to get it and add it to your system. And I'll be using the order details table for this particular example. So the first thing I wanted to go ahead and do is I'll just do a basic select all from order details, and we'll run that real quick. So here's all of the order details we have in our table. You see there's quite a, quite a lot of them, uh, 2155, and a lot of numbers and stuff we can play with, which is good, but these aggregate functions also work well with dates uh, too, so you can sort your information uh, by dates. Uh, so the first aggregate function I want to talk to you about is count. And so we can do count, and we can do count all, and I'll run it real quick. And so what count does is it basically counts and returns back the number of rows in a particular table based off of whatever filters you might have applied, so where, whatever your where statement might say. So as you see, we have 2,155 rows in our table, which you just saw when I scrolled down the whole thing, but now we get that number right there. Um, but also we could do like where product ID equals to 10. Now I'm not sure what product ID is 10. Let me make sure I got the right name in there. I could create a join and pull that information in, but that's, that's for another video about joins and everything. So anyway, we have count all from product detail or order details where product ID is 10 for whatever that product ID is. And let me run it real quick. So we have 33 orders where the product ID is 10. See, it gives us that nice easy number. And if we delete it out of here, run it again, we see that we do have 33 orders indeed uh, for product ID 10 and there's all of our information. So that's how the count aggregate function works. Very handy uh, for certain situations, of course. All right, the next aggregate function I want to show you is the sum aggregation. And so let's say we want to get a sum or the total quantity of all of product 10 that we have sold. So I can do select sum, and then I want to put in the actual name of the column for sum. So I want quantity and F5. So we've sold 742 of product ID number 10. So that's pretty cool, right? We could get the sum, and of course we could adjust our filter for whatever we want to do to get the information that we need. And while we're here, another aggregate function we could go ahead and do is average. So AVG F5, and now we have the average quantity ordered, and it looks kind of funky there because we got a lot of repeating decimals there, but so our average order size is 22.484848, etc. So if you want the average, that's how you could go ahead and accomplish that. Now let me go back and we'll just do a select all again, bring everything up. And so two more uh, aggregate functions are max and min. So we can get the max number or the minimum number. So let's do it for quantity again. Let's see what our max quantity is. Max quantity, five. And we have 100 right there. And so that is the largest quantity ordered for product ID number 10 versus min F5, which is one, which is the smallest order we had for product ID number 10. Now for one last thing I wanna show you, you can also do math in the select statement with these aggregate functions. So let me wipe this out real quick and we'll just do a basic select all from our table, our order details table. And let's say that I wanna find the max unit price and subtract it from the min unit price. And so of course that shows us like the range and the prices we have, $261.50, or you could do, you know, average if you want to. So 237 is the range between our max price and our average. So you know that our average unit price is pretty low actually. So let's go with that. So our average price is $26. And maybe you want to do average unit price, and you could do it inside of the parentheses as well. So unit price times quantity. So that's basically your average order. 
and we could run it like that. So our average order size then is $620.52, essentially, because we're doing unit price times quantity. So that's you know the order size and then the average of that uh, for all the rows in our table is this amount right here. So as you can see, you can do arithmetic expressions there in the suck line, which can be tremendously helpful for whatever you're trying to do. So that's it for this video where we did some basic aggregations. I'm gonna do another video with some more advanced aggregations like the group by and having clauses. So be on the lookout for that. If you found this video helpful in any way, shape or form, I appreciate a comment, a like, a subscribe, anything like that. And I hope you have a great rest of the day.